What's up guys, hope you're all doing well out there. Today we're gonna to be turning a pair of slim straight pants into a pair of flares. We are getting back to the DIYs. Really excited, and this one's a pretty special one. Flares themselves actually have a pretty interesting history in American fashion. They started off mainly based off their functionality for the Navy. So it was just an unofficial uniform that people started to wear, snowballed into an official thing. You could wear boots with them, they were comfortable, that sort of thing. And then in the 1900s, thanks to 60s counterculture, the youth of that time went out and they were buying their clothes from army surplus stores. People in the 60s were wearing them to go against the grain and not rely on a brand or a department store, whatever the traditional American dream was. And then by the 70s, it became a whole trend. You guys probably know them from disco or whatever else, but I think that's a really cool story. And the reason I initially said this is a special DIY is because following my last video where the house of Margiela put the sock sweater, their artisanal sock sweater, into the people's hands in 2004, we are going to be recreating the Staatsballett Flares, which is Kaylee and I's clothing brand. These are some of my everyday pants. I share them all the time on Instagram. You guys can check that out in the link in the description. While we are transitioning from our factory in the Garment District in New York City to our factory in Los Angeles and everything associated with that, sourcing material, whatever, we won't be revisiting that pattern for spring, summer 2019. That's our next collection. So we aren't gonna be making them for a while. We might end up making them as like a core item in the long run if you guys are that interested because thank you guys so much for your interest. And since that will be a long time to come, I just wanted to give you guys a little tutorial because a lot of you guys want to see it. It's fall, winter, it'll give you a new silhouette in your wardrobe, and it's a pretty simple DIY. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a pair of slim straight pants. For me, I'm using those original 874s. That's a Dickies model. It's a straight leg, but it's pretty slim. It's a workwear pant. These have creases on the front. That's really similar to our Staatsballett pant. And actually when I laid these together, the only difference was that our Staatsballett flares were a little bit narrower where the thigh comes into the knee. And then of course the flare was bigger on the bottom. The other thing is fabric. I know a lot of people use or will use another pair of Dickies. If you do, here's a little DIY I did for a pair of Dickies shorts. Single stitch hem, a little red embellishments with tassels and embroidery near the back pocket. That way you're at least putting a second pair to good use if you're just chopping them off. I recommend though, especially if you are in a bigger city that has something else other than a Joann's fabric, is to find a jobber. A jobber is someone that sells surplus fabric. So it could be for upholstery, it could be from a designer brand, who knows where it's from. We'll mill a certain yardage of fabric, a few thousand yards, tens of thousands of yards, and there'll be a little bit left over. And that way you can score just half a yard, a yard, 10 yards, however much you need for your project. Here, you probably literally need like a tenth of a yard, maybe less. This is a full yard right here though. And it's really fun. You'll get inspiration for other projects. It's cheaper, you don't waste as much. Thumbs up all around. Finally, you'll need something to sew it. So that's either your sewing machine or your tools to do a little hand sewing. That's actually what I ended up doing because here I couldn't get the machine to work. It just kept getting clogged. Um, I'm in LA right now and I decided to do it by hand real quick, which actually was a really fun um, hands-on process. So that was cool. And here we go. This is the process. You take the inseam of a pant and you split it with a seam ripper from the bottom hem on that inseam up as high as you want. The great thing about this project is that you can make the pants as wide as you want, you can make the flare go up as high as you want, you really are just adding material. For mine, from these 874s, so they reflected my Stotz flares pretty well, I did 11 inches up on this seam rip. Turn the pant inside out and you can almost see how you're going to add the shape. You're just turning the bottom of a leg into a cone by adding a new triangle swatch of fabric. Back to the dimensions because we're going to need to cut out this triangle. Mine was 11 inches tall and it was 4 inches wide. 
Of course, for the sewing process, you're going to need to do it a bit bigger. So I just sketched out those dimensions and then I added about a fourth of an inch. You can even go a half of an inch to be safe. And from there, you cut it out and there is your new material to match up to your pants. The first step for sewing is to fold over that bottom hem. I forgot to say I added length for this step, so make sure you do that. And the reason I'm doing a little fold over hem with just a single top stitch is to match the bottom hem on the dickies. That way it looks really natural going across so there's no discrepancies. Doing this by hand was a little rough, but I think if you take your time, you can make it look really good. Now your triangle should really match up to the pants that you are turning into flares. You have your pant inside out, you turn your fabric that you're sewing to the bottom of it, that way it will be the complete inside out pants and you line up the edges and you pin it up one side, down the other. It's really that simple, you're just aligning the edges as you go, doing one side and then the other. That way you can do a nice clean stitch, both of the bottoms will be lined up for when you finally get to put these on, but before you do, you're gonna wanna go ahead and iron these out. Good morning. A lot of junk. This is some true DIY action. We are ironless, so I'm trying to set these seams flat by doing a little makeshift ironing. <gasps> uh, hopefully it helps at least a little bit. We'll see. Of course, we didn't have a working sewing machine. We didn't have an iron, so I just set it under all of that weight. It helped a little bit, but if you really want to set, if you really want to set that seam and just clean it up, definitely go ahead and iron these boys out. That'll really bring them to life. You guys will see my seams are a little bit rough, so check them out. Here is the final product. There you go, I am super happy with how eerily similar this shape is to those Stotz flares. Of course, this is a gross oversimplification of patterning and making a pair of flared pants, but for a $5 DIY to a pre-existing pair of pants, you really, really can't beat it. And going to the job is so fun too. And again, I just wanna hammer home how flexible this DIY is. If you want to go the route of making it a little bit more gritty and street, take a narrower pair of pants and just add the width to the very bottom. That way your pants sort of sag and seep over a pair of Vans or a pair of Ramones. Or if you wanna do super bell bottoms, you can bring it up super high. It's totally up to you and it's a really simple, easy, cheap, resourceful DIY. I don't think I need to convince you more. I think I've talked your heads off. So I hope you guys like this DIY. Make a pair of Stotz Ballet flares until we revisit the pattern one day. Maybe with our new factory. But we're out here in LA working hard on the new collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed that too once we get to share it with you. And I guess that's it. I'm going to be giving away this pair right here. It's a size 30 by 34. They fit pretty true, really long length. will give you that super nice stacking with that rigid structure. So just comment down below, give me a recommendation for a video you want me to make, or give me a recommendation for something that I should check out and just say you want the flares, something like that. I'll pick one of you guys, shoot them over to you, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, do me one last favor. Have a good day, I'll see you in the next video. Peace guys, take care.